Well, hello. We are in chapters 22, 23, and 24 uh, tonight, and uh, we're going to see Paul basically defending himself. He's defending himself uh, both uh, to the crowds, uh, to the Sanhedrin, and then before Felix. Um, and then, uh, so it's it's quite a quite an interesting group. Uh, one thing I do need to apologize. Yesterday, I jumped the gun on you. Paul has not yet told. Uh, the Roman uh, centurion that he is uh, that he's a Roman citizen. That doesn't happen till this uh, chapter 22. Uh, so uh, you see Paul uh, explaining his whole uh, conversion process uh, to the crowd. But when he says he was being sent to the Gentiles, you know that, those are those are fighting words uh, to the Jews, and they wanted to kill him because of that. Uh, so then uh, they it says the crowd listened to Paul until he said this. And then they raised their voices and shouted, rid the earth of this man. He's not fit to live. Uh, so uh, then uh, the, the commander took him back to the barracks, wanted to have him flogged uh, so that he would tell the truth. And just as they were stretching him out, getting ready to do that, uh, Paul asked the guy a question, is it lawful to do this to a Roman citizen? Kind of uh, tongue in cheek, knowing that that's not lawful to do that to a Roman citizen. So he goes and calls the commander down. They compare notes on how each one of them became a Roman citizen. And then the commander then decides he wants to find out more about Paul. So the next day, chapter 25, uh, he take, I'm sorry, 23, he takes him into the Sanhedrin and asks them to try him. He wants to find out more about this. Uh, almost immediately, uh, they're slapping him around. Paul lashes out. And then he finds out that the guy who ordered him to be hit was the high priest, a little interaction. If you've been uh, staying with us on the Mark class, you'll realize that over the last week, we have dealt with that same situation with the same high priest uh, in the trial of Jesus. And uh, uh, they acted inappropriately according to Jewish law towards Jesus, the same way they're acting towards Paul. Paul realizes he's not going to get much of a fair trial, so he just kind of defi decides to create a little ruckus. So he uh, calls down uh, a major controversy, and he says, the reason I'm on trial here is because I believe in the resurrection. And knowing that the, 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 um, the Sadducees, who are the high priest and the Levites and the priests, they don't believe in the resurrection, and the Pharisees, who are the other half of the ruling body, uh, they believe in the resurrection, and that causes a big ruckus. And uh, they decide they're, they they uh, can't get anything done. They haul him back off again. We find out that Paul has a sister, and the sister has a son. We don't know much about Paul's family. I don't know of any other specific reference to any family he has, certainly not that I can recall right now. Uh, but uh, her son finds that they're going to, there's a plot uh, afoot to kill Paul. And so... Paul has him tell the commander. Uh, the commander then decides to send him up to Caesarea, which is the home base for the Roman um, governor in this area, and they have him transferred up to Caesarea. You get to chapter 24, and that is the trial before Felix, who is the governor. Uh, Felix knows a lot about the way. He knows a lot about Judaism. And he also knows a lot about bribery. And all he really wants to do is to uh, hear Paul enough to try to see if Paul won't offer him a bribe. Enjoy the readings, and we'll see how it progresses on tomorrow. Have a great evening. God bless.